In the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Today we remember the person known as St. Ambrose. It's his feast day, and he is celebrated for his wisdom and his teaching, and one of the many recipients of his words and sermons was the wonderful St. Augustine of Hippo. And so we thank God for the ministry and the witness of Ambrose. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let us worship and praise him. Lord, open our lips that we may glorify and praise your name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us call to mind and confess our sins as we pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 25. In you, O Lord, my God, have I put my hope. In you have I trusted, let me not be ashamed nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who wait for you be put to shame, but let those that break faith be confounded and gain nothing. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in the ways of your truth and teach me, 
for you are the God of my salvation. In you have I hoped all the day long because of your goodness, O Lord. Call to mind your compassion and your loving kindness, for they are from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth nor my transgressions, but according to your mercy think on me. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he direct sinners in the way. The meek he will guide in the path of justice and teach the humble his ways. All the paths of the Lord are faithful and true for those who keep his, com his covenant and his commandments. For your name's sake, O Lord, be merciful to my sin, though it is great. Who are they that fear the Lord? Them will the Lord direct in the way that they should choose. Their souls shall dwell at ease, and their children shall inherit the land. The confidences of God belong to those that fear him, and his covenant shall give them understanding. My eyes are ever looking for the Lord, for he will bring my feet out of the net. Turn your face towards me and be gracious, for I am alone and in misery. O oh, free my heart from pain and bring me out of my distress. Give heed to my affliction and adversity and forgive me all my sins. Consider my enemies, how many they are, and they bear a violent hate against me. Oh, keep my life and deliver me. Put me not to shame, for I am come to you for refuge. Let innocence and integrity be my God, for in you have I hoped. O oh God, deliver Israel out of all their tribulation. Our reading this evening is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 21, verses 20. Let me just make sure about that. Twenty-one verses twenty to twenty-eight. And Jesus said, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, they know that its desolation has come near. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains, and those inside the city must leave it, and those out in the country must not enter it. For these are days of vengeance, as a fulfillment of all that is written. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days, for there will be great distress on the earth and wrath against this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken away as captives among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon and the stars, and on the earth distress among nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, when these things begin to take place, stand up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. These apocalyptic vision that is presented to us here is one that makes for dread and heightened anxiety. And yet at the same time we are told Hold your head up high because your redemption is nigh. And perhaps one can imagine in the difficulties of that, of that which we are living in, 
and knowing that in previous generations, previous centuries, there were times of acute similarity between what is being described here in scripture and yet the hour of redemption did not take place. And perhaps it's not so much in the grand scheme of things, but it's a quiet comfort that you and I can take when these things are happening, we can feel the minor redemption, the minor saving of our spirit of our day as we come to the end of this day. Our prayers and the commitment of scripture, the words of the liturgy, <clears throat> serve to be a solving balm and ointment on the wounds of life and on the wounds of our day. And perhaps may I suggest that is where redemption in the immediacy, that area of our life that we have agency, the capacity, not dominated or determined by supernatural forces or the attitudes and the behavior of others, but that which in ourselves we can claim and be assured by of that God is in our midst. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I believe and trust in God the Father who made the world. I believe and trust in his Son Jesus Christ who redeemed humankind and I believe and trust in the Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God. I believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And on this day that we are mindful of Bishop Ambrose and of his witness and his influence, we thank God for the ministries of the bishops of our day and particularly those within our city in our diocese we pray for the bishop of table bay joshua as he carries the staff of servanthood for our archbishop tabo as he also anticipates his wedding anniversary we pray also for him and Sis Lungi. We thank God also for Archbishop Emeritus Njongo Dungani and Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Mpilotutu. For Mama Leia. As we hold our Archbishop Emeriti in our prayers, we thank God for the ongoing ministry of care and support. We also pray this day for the repose of the soul of our brother priest, Ashley Peterson, who died in the course of yesterday.
consequent to the impact of the COVID-19 virus on his body. And we pray for his spouse, Claudine, in this time of immense sadness and grief. And so much promise was unfolding in their life as Ashley anticipate a new beginning in the parish of St. Mark's in District 6. And we pray for their sons at the time that they will be the strong arms that Claudine needs, especially at this time, to support her in her grief and in the hope that they had fostered since Friday that he will be able to come off the ventilator and the sad reality of the news of his passing yesterday. Lord, we pray that as a church that we will be the nurturing support to the Peterson family. And we thank you for the ministry of Ashley where he is remembered at St. Saviour's Claremont, the Church of the Resurrection in Bonteval and now in Seapoint, and also the people in the parish of St. Philip the Deacon in Chapel Street in District 6 who will remember him as a lay minister a member of council and also as church warden. God, our Father, you enlighten the church by the teaching of your servant Ambrose. Enrich it with your heavenly grace and raise up faithful witnesses who by their life and teaching may proclaim the truth of your salvation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all the perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all forever. Amen. Good night, everybody.